Disease that invaded Florida in 2006 is now taking a toll in Tampa. You may have driven by a stand of sickly looking palm trees between Ybor City and Channelside. The city's going to try to cure them, but it may be too late. Palm trees represent everything that's beautiful and relaxing about Florida. So the death and decline of so many once grand palms is sad. And for Tampa taxpayers who paid for these trees, expensive. They're not cheap, right? Five to $8,000 each. Greg Bayer of the Parks Department says his staff knows about these diseased palm trees on the Nick Nusio Roundabout in Ybor City. They've been diagnosed with Texas Phoenix Palm Decline, so named because the bacteria is likely spread from Texas by some kind of leaf-hopping insect and first affected Phoenix palms. The symptoms include a browning of the leaves starting from the bottom and a dropping of any fruit the tree may be carrying. There's no cure, but local tree doctors offer injections of an antibiotic that can beat back the symptoms. The city will start injecting these trees in about two weeks. It's not like they're not remedied immediately, so it's going to be about one to three months before we know if the inoculation worked or they didn't make it. And if they didn't make it, we'll replace them. Tampa's getting a late start on this. The city of Lakeland began treating their palms two years ago. Besides Phoenix palms, Texas Phoenix palm disorder is attacking date palms and the native cabbage palms. It costs about $50 per tree per year for the medication which is a lot cheaper than replacement.